Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch gameplay commentary. I am in the fairy ground still, and I'm on a quest to go and find some arts. Um, Drippy's mum, Drippy's big mum, um, has a problem with her gut, and all of the little ins, all of the little fairies that normally pop out of her, aren't popping out. And so, in order to get them to pop out, we need to go and have a look inside her gut. In order to get into her gut, we need to get into her mouth. In order to get into her mouth, we need to make her laugh. In order to make her laugh, we need to, like, uh, sort out the hearts of some comedian fairies. And to sort out the hearts of some comedian fairies, we need to find six more pieces of heart. So, let's get to work, shall we? And look over here, look, there's a little bird. Oh, I think it's one, it's, one, it's one of the animals that I need to use the spell to speak to. Squawk! Right, um... Nature's tongue, I believe it's called. Oh, how did I ever send up to this nest of gnomes? End up in this nest of gnomes. Oi, who are you calling gnomes, you cheeky little flapper? Oh, you know how to give a gull a fright. How come you can understand me? Well, never mind. It's just nice to have someone to unburden myself to. Here, take this. One good turn deserves another, eh? You received a page describing levitate. Jolly good. Uh, th thanks. Gollard, to be of service. Huh? It's a page from the wizard's companion for a spell called levitate. Why would a seagull be carrying a spell that makes you float? It's obvious, ain't it? He looks like a bit of a light reading. Boom, boom. <laughs> a bit of light reading. Do you get it? <sighs> Jeepers. <laughs> a bit of light. That's a good joke. Well done, Drippy. Even though I <laughs> read it very badly, but doesn't matter. Maybe I've got to use the, uh, the levitate spell to lighten these guys' things on his head, maybe? I reckon you can solve this with a quick spell, Lolly Boy. You must have something that will work in your books of yours. Uh, where's levitate then? Do you reckon this will... Uh, take off the bird and there we go it does let me use it i can levitate the the horns on this guy's head is that any better crikey i feel like a weight being lifted from my shoulders horns they feel more like flipping feathers light as they are nice one drippy boy is that piece of art you're after tidy ta man you obtained a piece of hearts what have i got five more to get uh, so yeah, I should definitely get that done pretty soon in the video. And then we can hopefully go inside of Drippy's mam. So uh, let, let's pick someone else to speak to. Oh, hello. Hello, lady. Excuse me. Can I have a word, man? Hoo-hoo. If it isn't the legendary Drippy. Hoo. Nice to see you. Stop it. You're making me blush. Listen, have you got any pieces of art lying around? You look like the type who might have. Oh, I'm afraid I can't help you now. I've just broken this giant jar, see? Who'd have thought I could be so clumsy? Crikey, that is unfortunate. You're lucky we stopped by. I reckon my young buddy here has the magic that will get it back together for you. Um, what we hear? Rejuvenate, I think it will be. I think I'm finally learning some of these spells. There we go, rejuvenate. There you go, lady. Let me sort out your jar for you, love. You're welcome. Hoo, yahoo, it's fixed. There's lovely. Who really have been a huge help. Here, this is for who. <laughs> Ta, man. Don't mind if I do. Ta-ra. You obtained a piece of art. Blitzing through them, I am so far. Blitzing through these. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oi, oi. Can I ask you something quickly? Oh, what is it? Who, oh, Jimmy boy, it's you. How do? Not bad, man. On your lonesome as usual, I see. Here, have you got any pieces of art you have? Have you? I don't have time for that now, man. I can't... I can't get this... Yeah, this... This flipping lid open. Lid lock, eh? Wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy. Ollie boy, you got any spells that'll pop his jar open for our friend here? Um, I do. Spring lock might help out. I'm being very helpful today, aren't I? Everyone seems to have lots of very minor problems in this town for some reason. Yes, it's open. Thank Flip for that. Now I can finally get a nice pickled egg. <laughs> Tarban, I suppose I guess give you something in return, eh? Here. So you do have one. Tidy. You obtained a piece of heart. Uh, three more to go. I'm seriously blitzing through these, right? Who's next? Who's next? Come on. Who looks like they got some heart to give? You little fella down here, do you have any heart for me? Oi, literally, you got a minute? No, man, I ain't. I got homework to do, ain't it? Homework? Pah! 
Ah, pull the other one. Listen, you got any pieces of art spare? No, man. I ain't. And I've just got homework on this, and I'm supposed to grow these seeds by ear, but they ain't so much as sprouted. Not sprouted, eh? Looks like they need a bit of an helping hand. You got anything up your sleeves that might do the trick, Ollie boy? I do, I do, I do. What's it called? What's it called? I, I, I recognise it when I see it. Quick and grow. That'll do it. That should sort out your sprouting problem. Flip, man! Look at that, man! Flew up, they did! Amazing! That's my homework done, man! Tidy! Tell, man! You'll send me a right and uh, ear bashing from ma'am. Pieces of art, was it? Here you go. Ta! Ta to you, literally. Try and do your homework next time, though, eh? You obtained a piece of art. That's not homework. That's gardening. I wish that was my homework. <laughs> Just to plant a few flowers rather than having to do maths and English and science and all of that boring but pretty useful stuff. <laughs> um, oh, look, there's another chest up here. I swear every time I come here, I open this chest. Does it keep closing and getting new stuff in? Oh, they've got a fish burger. Very tasty. Right, um, this person over here seems to have some heart. <laughs> I just love the look of these people. Is this the place open or what? Hello, customers. Floppy neck man, droopy boy, is that you? Of course it is, you big dem. Quite any pieces of art, Andy. We need to, uh, oh, I don't know, about eight or so. Cool, I might help, but I'm a bit busy at the mo. Pressing flowers I am, see? Well, I would be, only... On the st only the stone I'm weighing them on, it ain't flipping heavy enough. Crikey, we can't let traditional fairy handicuffs like that go and die out, man. Don't worry, only boy, he's probably got something, th just the spell to help you. Something along those lines. Right, well, I need to make something heavy, was it? Um, yeah, sorry, I completely read that wrong, so I have no idea what I'm trying to do. Uh, should we just have a guess? Levitate? No, I think I'm trying to make something heavier. Puppet string... Uh, make things lighter, form familiar. Shall, shall I do my old tactic and just go through them all and see if I got the right spell? There won't be any of these. Won't be draw poison. Won't be that. Won't be that. Won't be that. I'm going to do them all anyway just so I don't miss one. I think I've got to make a rock heavier or something along those lines. Secret ingredient, spirit medium, broom, broom. No, I don't think I've got the right spell. So what he needs to do is to make that flower pressing stone of his a heck of a lot heavier. Um, right, so I guess there's going to be someone around here who can give me, like, something opposite to levitate that will make things heavier. Uh, there's someone up here who I haven't spoke to yet that might have something. How do, man? Meowers, droopy boy, how long has it been? This is, um, practically unheard of. Blind me, you're chirpy. Listen, I've got something to ask you. Have you got any pieces of art? Oh, I don't know. I've been feeling the cold so bad lately. I've not had a chance to do much but shiver. It's been all prosperous. Crikey, man. Poor old you. Ollie boy, do you think you have something to make... Alala, do you think we can help uh, the old fella out with this quick spell? The old fella? I thought that was a lady, wasn't it? What, do I have to do like a fireball? I do have to do fireball. I said just set her on fire. That will heat her up or him up, whichever one it is. Meow! I want flipping fire! What did you do that for, you poor rat? Hang about! I ain't cold anymore! I'm lovely and toasty, in fact! There's praise worthy! Here, have this! Is this what you were after? That is tidy! We'll have that! You obtained a piece of art. How many more? I need one more only, one more. So I guess I do need to find a, a spell then that's gonna weigh that, that thing down. Maybe I did have the spell, but it was in, like, the, uh, the other category of spells. There doesn't seem to be anyone else around here that I, could, I can speak to. Let me go and speak back to this guy again. I didn't probably read it. Cool! This flower pressing stone of mine is flapping light. It's never going to give me any pressure I need to do these pansies justice. Oi, oi, boy, there's probably a spell for that, ain't it? Um... Oh, burden. Weighs down certain subjects, slowing their movement. Sorted, sorted. I did have the spell. There you go, mate. There's your flower weighing, flower weighing down spell sorted. Cool. Heavy as anything it is now. That'll press my flowers to perfection. This will give me something to crow about to all the boys. Tar man, you're proper flapping legend. Now let me see now. A piece of art, was it? Think this one's knocking about somewhere under here. Have a rook. Tidy, tar man. You obtained a piece of art, the final piece. Eight out of eight. Tidy, there's a full complement of eight pieces of art we've put together. 
Let's get this care package over to Smiley and Shirley and bring the light of laughter back into their miserable lives. They're probably still moping around by the cavity cave. Let's get back there, shall we? You mean the place with the big outdoor stage? Sure, let's go. Um, I'm not entirely sure it's a big outdoor stage. <laughs> More of a little carving in a tree, but oh well. I suppose it might be considered big for fairies. Here you go, you got all the pieces of art yet, trippy boy. Yep. And he does, doesn't he look happy about it already? How do, boys? We got them pieces of art for you, ain't it? Nice one, drippy boy. You're a proper legend, man. You're serious about this, is it? Making ma'am laugh, I mean. Flipping heck, man. Talk about at the flipping deep end. Ah, stop fretting, man. You'll be fine. Right, oh, boys. Get ready for a dose of just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Hadouken! <laughs> A nice reference there to Street Fighter. Flipman! Well, what was that then? I feel weird as Eggman. Ain't it though? I feel like we're woken up after a proper long sleep or something. I feel better, man! Amazing! I think they. they don't seem that different. Oh, we're different, alright. The comic muse is in the house, and we're about to bring it down around her flipping ears, man. This'll be a laugh. I don't know. Amazing, ain't it? There's the powers of pieces of art, man. Proper miraculous, they are. I could make a brick wall laugh. I feel flipping funny, man. Let's flip and do this. Show me the mummy. Hold up, hold up. We need to practice first, ain't it, though? Never mind jumping the gun, man. You're flipping flying over the thing. Um, okay, you should practice. We'll come back when you're ready. Oh, what? Um, let Smiley and Shirley know when you're ready for them to take to the stage. Right, do you reckon they've had enough practice? They look pretty well practiced. Right, I think they should be ready. It's time for the Smiley and Shirley show. You'll be ready to watch us split mam's sides. Have you got the guts to make the fairy godmother laugh and take a journey to the ends of her innards? Um... Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> the stage is set, the lights are lit, and we'll crack her up. You crack on in there, right? Yeah, what he said. Let's get to it, shall we? I think I probably should have maybe healed up and leveled up and got some more provisions and stuff. But oh well, it doesn't matter. To her old mum. And what a dramatic camera angle. Is she going to be able to hear from all the way from thank over you, here? Thank you. Hey, speaking of dreams, I've always had a bit of a dream myself, you know. Oh, nice. Nice link, man. What it is is, see, always want to run a little weapon shop, I have. A weapon shop, eh? Well, I don't know why you're bringing it up in the middle of a show, but sounds like an all right idea, that does. Ain't it, though? Hey, do you fancy doing a quick practice with me? Huh? Practice? Yeah, man. I'll be the shopkeeper, see, and you, um, a zookeeper, right? And, uh, well, all your animals have run away and your wife's left you. Oh, yeah. Make it easy for me, why don't you? I'm not a flipping professional actor, am I, you div? Come on, man, serious now. What do you want me to be? Uh, a lion tamer? Do how is that any flipping easier? Can I just be my flipping self? Oh, no one wants to see that, man. No, I know you again. You're trying to give me something hard to do so you look better in it, though. Nah, man. I just thought you'd like a nice juicy roll to get your teeth into, ain't it, though? Juicy roll, eh? Huh? Well, I may not be a professional, but my widow Twanky's pretty legendary. <laughs> right on. So, I'm the customer at your weapon shop, right? And you were the proprietor of said establishment. All right, give us a moment. Ba 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 ma 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 ka 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 ka. Get on with it, man. Ah! Uh, <laughs> knock knock out, do cha ching. Clear off, cha ching. What the heck was that, man? You slam the door in my flipping face. But no better, are we? Not open yet, but flipping out of here, Bill. All right. <laughs> not open. Now. Oh, you are. Right. Knock knock, cha ching. How do? How do? I uh, just wanted to look at what weapons you got here, innit, though? Sorry, man, that's next door but one. What? No, it's flipping not. <laughs> it's my shop. Yeah, you a weapon shop. You can't go telling me what I sell to my own shop. But you said yourself you wanted it to be a flipping weapon shop. It is a flipping weapon shop. Give me strength, man. All right, all right. Sorry, man. 
I'll do it properly now, I promise. It's a weapon shop. Good. Selling weapons. Exactly. Righto. Knock, knock. Cha-ching, how do? What weapons you got for here, then? What weapons you after, exactly? Well, I don't know, do I? Uh, what about, you know, one of them huge, great, choppy numbers? Yeah, a proper massive one of them. That's what he wants. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot help you. Huh? You can't help me? You're the flipping shopkeeper, aren't you? I am sorry, sir. Huh? But that is just too big an axe. Flipping <laughs> egg, <laughs> 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 it's not too much. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Tiny! Laughing and flipping head off she is! Brilliant, they did it! I can't quite believe it. That's great, but we should hurry. We won't make it inside if she stops laughing. You're not wrong there, Ronnie boy. Let's get a wriggle on. Well, she's going to be laughing constantly until we get over there. Oh, oh, that's hilarious! Oh. <laughs> she's laughing like a flipping drain. Tidy, drippy man, we're all set. Right, do you lot all aboard? Aboard? Aboard what? Here I go, boys. Let the mission command begin. A cannon? Are they going to be fired from a cannon into her? <laughs> oh, she stopped laughing though. I can't hear her anymore. And who are those little fairies just standing there? Hey, one of you give us a like, will you, man? Launch command received. Roger, Roger that. that. Hold on to your hats. We have ignition. This has got to be my favourite episode ever. Ow. I love this place. I never want to leave this fairy ground. Three, two, one. one. Blast off! Here we go! <laughs> Into our mum! <laughs> Straight in a gob. Luckily, she's still laughing. Right, we're inside her! Oh, this is so exciting! Oh, I can't wait for this. Honestly, I think this is probably the most fun I've had in any video ever playing this game. And here we are! <sighs> Is everyone okay? I think so. All you're in one piece? One pile more like. All right, no need to get in a tiz. It's the only way to get in here, innit? Oh, this takes me back. Look around you, my friends. This year's Mummy's Tummy, where it all started. <laughs> mummy's Tummy. <laughs> oh, look at the little classrooms. They're so sweet. That is what they are, isn't it? That's right, man. This is where we're brought up, ain't it? Can't do it without a classroom or two to teach us the ways of the fairy world, can you? Wow, I can't wait to see what they look like inside. Esther, we have a job to do, remember? Oh, you're right. Sorry, Oliver. Okay, let's look for the little E's. Oh, Joe, remind me why I'm doing this again. Here we are. Doing, 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 doing. I love the bouncy floor and how squidgy it all is. Oh, and the happy sun's here, happy to see me. This place is awesome. I love the way it's gone to a 2D perspective. And oh, look, Drippy just fell over. Look, if I go and change direction, I think he goes and slips up. Or maybe he just does it every now and then anyway. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. Sadly, though, I'm going to be really mean. But uh, this video has gone on for too long. So I do sadly have to end it here. But don't worry, the next episode will be up in like three days or something. And I know that might seem like a long time to wait, uh, but hopefully it will be okay. Go watch a Minecraft video or something while you're waiting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hopefully you did enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And yeah, you'll be looking forward to exploring deeper inside of Drippy's mum's tummy. Um, yeah, there's a sentence I never thought I'd be saying. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later. Bye!